Hello everyone and welcome to my senior capstone Bai. Now that's B-A-Y which is the Vietnamese word for fly. First I would like to thank all of you for joining me on this flight and a humongous tremendous thank you to everyone who is making this project possible. What you are about to see are performance pieces that reflect my life, childhood, and dream roles that I've always wanted to perform. I hope to connect with you, share stories, have conversation, and enjoy this adventure with the magic of theater and film. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Carol. It's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you tell us about this song? So, Caro Mio Ben is a standalone opera piece, and it was introduced to me in my voice lessons. And basically it's saying, I love you so much, please don't leave me or I will be so sad. <laughs> and why did you choose this piece? Well, I chose it because... I really connect to it on a personal level because it's basically about, you know, when you love something, eventually you have to let it go mm -hmm. and that's how I feel about a lot of things in my life. Like, I'm, I can't wait to travel one day, you know, as an actor, but I'm also scared of leaving behind my family and friends and, you know, where I'm comfortable. And mm -hmm. then it's also how I felt about the coronavirus outbreak when, you know, there was like no more theater and everything got shut down. So it was basically like, the love of my life, I can't be with you. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. But speaking of the coronavirus, <laughs> how have you been handling the pandemic? Well, it has been like a super fast merry-go-round. Like I was just stuck in one place and life just kept spinning around me and it was just so depressing because you know like shows we were going to do got cancelled and then school got shut down and we were all locked up and away from friends and our classmates and then no theater no film like just everything was at a halt and it just felt like everything was out of my control but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like, you know, stay in that ne negativity. I want to say that this 
you know, this was just an intermission, the time for us to reflect, and that this show will go on. Life, life will go on. Right. Life <laughs> goes on. That's great. Yeah. I have a feeling that your whole journey has been legendary and will continue to be legendary. Um, will you tell us about the next piece? Yes, so the next piece I'll be performing as Madge from the play Picnic. And it's a monologue from the very first scene I ever performed in Intro to Acting. And it just really connected with me because it's how I feel about my family. For Madge, she wants her mom to support her and see that she has like these big dreams and she wants to go beyond what her mom has planned mm -hmm. out for her. And with my family, you know, they've always said, you should do this, doctor, engineer, lawyer, teacher. But it was acting in theater that I was like, I really want to do this and I really want to stay in this. But when I told them that, they were like, are you sure? Like, how are you going to make a living, Men any money from that? And, you know, just Madge is that reminder that even if there's disapproval, still go for it, still dream. It's okay to have big dreams. Yes, it is. I hear that train coming into town. I always get a feeling of excitement in here. Whenever I hear it, I tell myself, someday I'm going to get on that train and I'm going to go to New York. I always wonder, maybe some wonderful person is getting off here just by accident. And he'll come into the dime store for something and see me behind the counter and he'll study me very strangely and then decide I'm just the person he's looking for in Washington for an important job in the espionage department or maybe he wants me for some great medical experiment So, Nancy, mm -hmm. tell me why you love performing so much. Well, I grew up as an only child, and my family also worked a lot, you know, day and night, and I was just dropped off either at relatives' or family friends' houses to be uh, watched over, and it was just really lonely. Um, so, just to pass the time, I would read books, watch TV and movies, manga, anime, is anything that let me travel to these different worlds with these amazing adventures and it's also because I want to inspire like you know the next generation and help girls believe that they can be anything they want to be mm -hmm. and yeah and just during those times when I was lonely or down I also want to be there for those kids that you know that need that hope, yeah. that happiness in this world. Absolutely. I'm as mild and as meek as a mouse When I hear a command I obey But I know of a spot in my house Where no one can stand I can be whatever I want to be On the wing of my fancy I can fly anywhere And the world will open its arms to me I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan A girl, men go mad for love's a game I can play. 
fierce type of sport and yet it's fun. In the night I sally forth to seek my quarry and I find I forgot to bring my gun. I am lost in the jungle long alone and not night when I meet a lioness in her Do you have any worries about the path you've chosen? Yes, I do. And my biggest worry is that I really hope I can balance, like I'm really scared, I don't know if I'll be able to balance being able to take care of my family and being able to pursue what I love at the same time because my family, they're getting, you know, they're getting a lot older and you know, I'm pretty much like their caretaker and, you know, I don't know who will be there for them if anything goes wrong, if I have to, like, take a job and leave home. Um, and I just, you know, I just, I want to do what I love, but I want to take care of them at the same time because they've done so much to, they've done so much to take care of me. They've sacrificed so much. They've left their home just so that I can have a better life. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's understandable Yeah. that you want to follow your dream yes. and you want to balance home, love, and family. Yeah, I really do. That's really super cool. Heart, don't fail me now. Courage, don't desert me. Don't turn back now that we're here. People always say life is full of choices. No one ever mentions
Would you speak a little bit about casting and how it impacts you? Yes. So representation has always been such a big part of my life. Like growing up, I didn't see a lot of characters who, you know, had similar features to me or culture, background. If it was about Vietnamese people, then it was usually associated with like the Vietnam War and poverty and things like that. But mm. I want us to be seen in happier narratives mm. and I think a lot of people can connect with that. And it's just, you know, that's the same for me. If I hadn't seen like other fellow successful Vietnamese American women, of course, who are talented and had to work for where they are now, like Lana Condor and to all the boys I loved before, mm -hmm. um, Cordy Reed yeah. or Princess Jasmine on Broadway's Aladdin. And now we have Kelly Marie Tran, who is the new voice actress for the newest Disney princess, Raya, who is based on Southeastern culture. And when I heard that, I was just like, oh my gosh, she is living my dream. And I just hope that, you know, that I can also be a part of that, be part of that trailblazing for someone and, you know, give them hope that they can do this too. Yeah, so would you say following your dream is the most unselfish thing you can do for yourself? It is, because, you know, in our cultures, we really prioritize our families and their happiness, but I want to ask, you know, my fellow Asian brothers and sisters, are you happy with your life? And what do you want to do so that you can change it and be happy? Because following your dreams is the most unselfish thing you can do for yourself. What is the message that you would like to share now that you're graduating? Well, being in this field, this industry of theater and film and music, just everything that I've learned is that you should take chances mm -hmm. because you never know what opportunity you might get next, what connections you might make, the people you'll come to know and love. And, you know, it's okay to be afraid and vulnerable and doubtful because, you know, I have that too. I'll be insecure, I'll be scared about the next thing I'm doing, but use that doubt, use that insecurity to grow, to move forward and become the best version of yourself. That's right. And as we were talking in the green room before mm -hmm. the interview, you said that I will fly so far from here. Yes. Yes. And yeah. that is that is the theme of bye because it's okay to say goodbye. It's okay to fly. Go and fly. Follow your dreams and be free. Talk of love, but it's an act merely meant to throw me. How can someone love me when, in fact, they don't know me? They want my royal treasure. When all is said and done, it's time for a desperate measure. So I wonder why shouldn't I fly so far from?
I'd like to give this graduation speech and dedication to those who are graduating in 2020. We do not mourn what we've lost, but celebrate what we've gained. All of our lives, hard work, and all of this time spent learning and connecting, we are going to fly together to our futures. To everyone who has helped me make it this far, thank you. I am so grateful for every one of you who has come into my life. I wanna thank all of my professors that I've had every single semester. It has been a privilege being in the same space as you so that you could share your knowledge and wisdom with us. To all of my dear friends in theater and music drama workshop and film, thank you for always being happy to help. And I'm going to miss seeing you every day in class. Thank you to the incredibly talented team who helped me make this project come to life. And to my loved ones outside of my professional life, thank you for always believing in me from the very beginning. For your constant love, encouragement, and support. I know it's always really hard to make time to see each other because of all of this, but thank you for always being there and understanding. I am my best self because of you. And this next part is going to be in Vietnamese because my parents usually don't see my shows because of the language barrier. And this is dedicated to them. Con xin cảm ơn rất nhiều tất cả gia đình của con, ba mẹ, ông bà ngoại. Con cảm ơn ba mẹ, ông bà ngoại, hội mà mỗi người bước lên máy bay bay đi tới nước Mỹ để xin con ra đi làm cực khổ mỗi ngày sáng sớm tối đêm để lo cho con đi học bây giờ con được ra trường đại học cái này là mất một cái giấc mơ mà mình chia sẻ bây giờ giấc mơ này là thật hồi con còn nhỏ con cảm thấy buồn khi mà mỗi người phải đi làm và phải gửi con cho người ta coi trần dầm con muốn ở nhà ở chung với gia đình của con con cũng còn vẫn buồn hồi mà ba mẹ ông bà ngoại không được đi coi con diễn tập ở trường mà không sao con hiểu con hiểu tại vì tiếng mỹ là khó nghe kịp và hiểu cái đó là lý do của con để làm ra phim này cho xem cho mẹ người đã sinh con ra và cũng còn đi làm cực khổ để lo cho con sống cho ba người mà thương con như giống như con là công chúa của bà cho bà ngoại người mật nấu đồ ăn món ăn thơm ngon mỗi ngày mỗi đêm cho ông ngoại, người mà cố gắng lo cho gia đình này hồi xưa tới bây giờ mỗi ngày mà con lớn lên con suy nghĩ câu hỏi này làm sao mà con được tặng lại công bằng cuộc, cuộc sống này của gia đình này tặng cho con câu trả lời này là con phải bài giống như tất cả mọi người bay đến tới nước Mỹ để tìm sự tự do bây giờ con sẽ bay